Okay, so in the first part of this tutorial we showed you how to make connections between water supply and the city supply center so we can transport water to the city. City needs water and food to get bigger. If it doesn't receive both of these then the town is not growing. We are going to make this town growing by transporting for water and food to it. So, in the, f in the first part we already built those stations with the maze and stuff. This is the maze factory. For the maze factory you need uh, grain trucks. As you can see our first truck loaded a grain and the second one is going to its place to load. And now this truck is going to the unloading point in the food factory. This is how the food factory looks like. I see our opponent already made some foods 40 tons of food available, that's good we are going to steal a little bit food from him how we are going to transport the food to the to the maze to, to sorry to transport food to the Preferring Bridge Town we need the roads to make it but little, we are a little bit blocked over here but I see connection over here. I'm going to... So I, I don't like to make bridges and stuff. I just hate to do that. It makes a map a lot more uglier, by my opinion. So I'm going to connect this road over here with this road over here. So the vehicles are going from here to the Preferring bridge by this road. Okay. Now one thing I wanna tell you. Okay, so our food can also be delivered in this part here. By clicking on the station, you see what the station accepts. This station accepts only water. So we need to be to build another station that accepts food. Usually stations in the in the road in the city, sorry, the stations in the city will accept food but the station should not be too close to another station so we make a station a little bit farther from the our opponent station and here it is now clicking by this station you see it accepts mail, food, water so stations in the city will always accept food unless the city get over crowded with the food then for one time the city won't accept any food but for the beginning since the city is growing the city will, will accept food so we need to make we need to make uh, transportations between the food plant and the uh, city for that we need food trucks and here it is Foster food vein. We are going to buy some of the vehicles and give 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 them some more. So go to all cargo that is loaded in the factory will be unloaded at Preferring Bridge Heights. So click on the station, unload all, and no loading, and go to. Denning Hall West to load some food. Denning Hall West, full load any cargo. We gave order to to this truck to full load any cargo at Denning Hall West where the factory food is, and to go to the Preferenbridge city to unload and leave empty. We are going to clone. We are going to make four of these vehicles. So, and put them. To work. Huh. Now our our vehicles are going to the food factory. That's good. By that we are going to see how our opponents are going. So, hand and pull west, blah blah blah, turning wheel, 
He, he is making very good job in it. We are going to fuzz the things up. Yeah, I see. Someone designed a new truck. Now, you see our vehicles are starting to load. But one thing is it, it's how much food the factory produces, how much food you can transport. You don't want to, for instance, you don't want that you make like 10 transports of the maize to the factory and assign 20 of food trucks because the food factory cannot produce all the, all the quantity that can be transported with 20 vehicles. For instance, you, you can do 10 maize transports to the food factory and like 3 or 4 food transports to the city because otherwise factory cannot produce how much you want to transport. <coughs> By clicking at the station you see what is the current capacity of the food. So currently there is 100, oh sorry, 200 tons of food. So we can do very good with it. Let's see. I think so. Water and food is delivered. And now you see this. City is go getting much more bigger. I think we can make much more vehicle because the quantity in the in the food factory is enough for like six vehicles. So we are going to clone a little bit of these vehicles to make transportation much more profitable and to make the city grow faster. This is how the things are going. You see now the population is getting bigger. We had like 230 citizens in this town. Now we have 291. So water is delivered, food is delivered, town grows every 105 days. By transporting more quantities in the shorter time you can expect to from the city to grow much more faster. And so it's not very hard. City needs water, city needs food to grow up. Now you see 389 citizens, we are going doing good. Water supply is just point to point. You, you, you make station at the water supply center, you transport directly from the water supply to the, to the city water tower, but food factory needs materials, it needs maize or grain and it needs fruit no matter what either you can transport both of these or you can transport only food and only grain once you transport its grain or food to the food factory it needs a little bit time for the food to be to be produced once the food is produced you can make food transport between the food factory and the city and in, a f in this short tutorial that's what it is it's not very complicated you can always ask me more questions in the comments I, I'm always here for you to assist you and thank you for watching this video we, I hope to that you learn some stuff and keep clear and uh, enjoying the game bye